Welcome to Evergreen Family Medicine. Today we're with Dr. Dustin Myers. He's a family physician at Evergreen. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Absolutely. From what I understand, diabetes is one of the areas that you have a lot of experience in as a family doctor. I'm assuming because it's fairly prevalent. How often are you dealing with diabetes in your practice? Absolutely. Well, for, for me in particular, I would say about half of my patients have, have diabetes. Um, but even you know, your general practitioner who doesn't specialize in that area really needs to know how to manage diabetes just because it's, it's so common throughout the country and especially in rural areas uh, like Douglas County. Um, so it's really, you know, used to be kind of a subspecialty, you know, area with endocrinology, but really it's a, it's a, what I would call family medicine, you know, issue today. I don't have personal experience with diabetes, knock on wood. Uh, I could, I guess, at any time in my life. You test you. you want. <laughs> uh, right. But every, the experience I do have, part of the uh, most difficult process or part of it is when it's discovered for the first time. There's a very steep there's a lot of things that happen, and I've seen um, people deal with learning about diabetes, understanding they have it. What are some of the maybe warning signs? And I don't know if you have advice, or what's the best way to handle that moment when all of a sudden diabetes might be a reality for someone? Absolutely. Um, well, well the, the, the short answer is just piece by piece. So there's different types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is, you know, tends to be younger people more of a sudden onset. Um, type 2 diabetes is one that, that often will kind of sneak by, you know, and people have it for even years without knowing. But, you know, the, the, the signs that you might look for would be just fatigue, frequent urination, feeling really thirsty, even weight loss. Um, uh, what, what the underlying problem is with both diabetes types uh, is that the body just can't manage the, the blood sugar. You know that it has, and there's different you know underlying causes for for each type. Um, when I see a patient who who newly you know is diagnosed with diabetes or concerns of diabetes, you know really we just we just start with their understanding and kind of you know, build up from there. You know what they know about it. If you ask you know anyone, uh, any random person, they probably know someone with diabetes. You know whether it's a grandparent or whatever parent or, or sibling. Um, but a, a lot of the, 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 the first, um, you know, major topic that we talk about is just the food, you know, the diet, uh, because that's the most important thing that needs to change, you know, just cutting out sugars and, you know, carbohydrates and, and eating an overall healthy diet. And then the other, the other big part is medications. And there's, you know, that's a whole, whole topic in itself. Um, but, um, just do one step at a time. Mm-hmm. Is diabetes um, genetic, or do you bring it on because of your diet and your yeah. behavior? So it, it is one of those complicated diseases that has both genetic parts and uh, lifestyle uh, factors. Um, type 2 diabetes actually has more of a genetic component than, than type 1, believe it or not. Um, but at the same time, type 2 diabetes is, is the, uh, the one that, that is more preventable you know, by eating healthy, you know, exercising, controlling the weight, and, and other factors too. How would you describe managing diabetes or how important that is? Is there a structure you need around you? Is there support in order to basically live a healthy life with diabetes? It, it is a lot to deal with at first. And, you know, I tell my patients that. But it, it's really, it, it's a marathon. You know, it's a long-term process. And you will make mistakes. So, you know, I, I try not to, to you know, I don't want people to get discouraged when their blood sugars are high or, you know, they make little errors along the way. That's part of the learning process. Um, it, it is helpful to connect with other people. Um, you know, again, family members, friends, or, you know, your healthcare professional, you know, who, who has a lot of experience dealing with diabetes. A, a lot of the, the, the success in diabetes management really just d- depends on not giving up. You know, it's it just, even if you make mistakes, just going, going back, back on track, you know, getting help when you need help. And it was certainly, you know, it, it's, it's very possible to live you know, normal, a normal life. When I mentioned diabetes, I also mentioned metabolic care. What is metabolic care? 
So metabolic care is just a, a group, you know, of, of different health problems. So that includes diabetes, obesity, you know, different uh, hormonal disorders like thyroid disease that really just affects how, how your body processes and stores energy. I, I want to introduce you a little bit to the community. I understand you and your wife, Dr. Moffat, moved here not very long ago. About a year ago. Yeah. And uh, how are you liking things here in Oregon? Well, the reason that we, one of the reasons that we picked this area is just because of all the ample outdoor opportunities, whether that's you know, biking, kayaking on the river, hiking. Um, that, that's one of the, the, the major things that attracted us to this area. Yeah, it's beautiful here, no doubt, and we're glad to have you. Welcome to Evergreen, and thank you for the information about diabetes and metabolic care. And Well, I'm sure we'll see you again. Absolutely, anytime. All right. Dr. Dustin Myers with Evergreen Family Medicine. You can learn more about Dr. Myers and all of the providers at Evergreen Family Medicine online at evergreenfamilymedicine.com, and you can follow Evergreen on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter.